Back in the day the B-52 was built, there were no ICBMs. The only feasible way for nuclear deterrence to work was to have bombers that would carry nuclear bombs to the other side of the world. The U.S. built a variety of bombers, from the B-36 to the B-47, and finally the B-52, which were all essentially built around the task of delivering the bomb to Russia. And then the perfected ICBM has come. And after those were introduced, the manned bomber's utility was questioned. The Air Force made a brave attempt to try to continue to press for a nuclear role for them, despite the fact that manned bombers operated from exposed air bases and were far easier to shoot down in the air than ballistic missiles. After being stripped of its nuclear role, it was still widely available and fully useful as a bomb truck. And such aircraft are certainly not survivable against a sophisticated air defense system, but Congress is loath to put forth the money to replace it with a new one that capable. So the B-52 just keeps on flying. 